Hello friends and welcome to the Architecture Enthusiast and to the Arcadia Education Project in South Kanarchar, Bangladesh by Saif Ul Haq Sthapati from Dhaka, Bangladesh, completed in 2016. After four decades of teaching in the United Kingdom, Razia Alam returned to her home country of Bangladesh where she established a school for underprivileged children using her pension funds. When the lease on the existing premises of the school expired, its founders sought out a site on which to build. The budget restricted her choice to areas not well suited for development. Wanting the school to be near water, she purchased a riverside plot which it turned out is submerged in up to three meters of monsoon water for a third of the year. Rather than disrupting the ecosystem to create a stabilized mound for building on or erecting a structure on stilts that would have been too high in the dry season, her chosen architect, a lifelong acquaintance, devised a solution of an amphibious structure anchored to the site that could sit on the ground or float on the water depending on the seasonal conditions. The building footprint was leveled using retaining walls of sandbags with sand, earth, and local brick infill, and used tires fixed atop for cushioning. Bamboo posts sunk two meters into the ground serve as anchoring points for the school's various independent but interconnected rectangular structures. Three multi-purpose spaces used mainly as classrooms, office, open top platform, toilet bathroom structure, septic tank and water tank structures, and a single corridor offering access to all spaces. Built of three types of bamboo, they are kept afloat by substructures of used 30 gallon steel drums within bamboo frames. Chosen for its lightness and durability, the bamboo was purchased in neighboring villages and drifted along the river to the site. That used for a substructure, anchoring posts, and roof was chemically treated to remove any material that could rot. All other elements were waterproof by applying liquid made from boiled local ga'ab fruit, a traditional Bangladeshi method. Most of the joints use a rope tie technique rather than steel wire which could corrode. The classroom's bow arched bamboo roofs, allowing the spaces to remain column free, required some prototyping to perfect. Aside from a few battery powered drills, only hand tools were used for the construction. <laughs> 